So I'm here today to review for y'all Mario Kart Wii for the Nintendo Wii, obviously. Which, delightfully enough, is actually packaged with the Wii Wheel. Uh, I, that's something anybody who's getting the game obviously already knows ahead of time, but it's delightful, I think. I'm quite happy that you don't have to buy some extra accessory that came with the game. Let me start by saying that in this full review of Mario Kart Wii, I'm going to take back certain things I said in my initial thoughts blog, um, but there are going to be certain points I intend to reinforce. Now, um, also, understand that I haven't played Mario Kart since uh, the SNES, and uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't even remember that one very well at all, as I never owned it myself. So that means I'm looking at Mario Kart Wii on its own merits and not as compared to a past Mario Kart game. I'm relating this in case someone wants to point out that this is something uh, new to the franchise for Mario Kart Wii, um, or it's uh, something that they changed, anything like that. So initially I was kind of let down by Mario Kart Wii, but uh, it's beginning to grow on me. Um, it may have helped that I unlocked my favorite character, Birdo, but who knows. Um, allow me to be more specific as to what aspects of Mario Kart Wii are growing on me. The multiplayer and the time trials. Uh, I'm still annoyed with the closed circuits. 50cc was alright, 100cc ramped up the irritation, and 150cc is downright annoying. And I haven't even made it to the mirror 150cc. Uh, I still get angry, shout, and swear when I'm ahead of the pack, and at the last second I get slammed with a barrage of fucking weapons and fall way behind. But uh, I'll just have to live with that. The way I look at it, once I've unlocked everything, I'll never have to play the closed circuits again. Eh? I'll just stick to the time trials and play in multiplayer with my friends. Besides, it's not exactly unusual for me to be annoyed with a game so that's not saying much but uh, as time goes on and I have more time with the game I'm coming to enjoy it more and more now in my blog I said that I was unimpressed with the bikes I, uh, I take that back now it takes a little getting used to but once you do get used to the uh, extra drifting and uh, utilizing the wheelie boost as opposed to the, the blue and gold sparks uh, they're excellent possibly faster than the carts and largely the bikes look cooler than the carts do controls. There's um four options with this game. There's the Wii Wheel or Wii Remote by itself. There's the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, Classic Controller, and the GameCube Controller. Um, first of all, I don't own a Classic Controller, so I have no idea how well that works. I'm guessing that it works much the same as a GameCube Controller does, but I don't know for sure. Um, so with that out of the way, let's discuss the uh, options I'm familiar with. Uh, my preferred method well, as far as uh, winning the single player races, um, GameCube controller. For multiplayer races with friends, just for fun, Wii Wheel, definitely. Um, so for the time being, GameCube controller until I've unlocked everything, and then I will move on to only playing multiplayer with my friends, at which point it will become the Wii Wheel as my preferred method. Um, the Wii Wheel. Uh, well, fine enough is not the best option if your intent is victory and not for fun. Um, for one thing, drifting is considerably more difficult with the Wii Wheel, uh, which is why I recommend if you're playing with it you stick to the automatic as opposed to manual. Um, if you've got a GameCube controller, nunchuck, or possibly a classic controller, I don't see the point. Um, everything controls well, though, besides the added difficulty of the drifting manually. Um, personally, I could live with a slightly larger Wii wheel, possibly with buttons directly on the wheel, like via a plug-in for the nunchuck port or something, but that could just be my large hands uh, posing a problem. Uh, graphics. Um, well, I'm not fantastically knowledgeable as far as explaining the graphics of a game beyond knowing whether it looks good to me or not. Um, if you were to ask anyone who knows how I measure a video game's merits, the visual appeal is fairly low on the scale. Um, same as with any movie reviews, if you've watched uh, past ones of those. Um, it's a Wii game, though, and any gamer knows that Wii games are not graphical powerhouses. 
So um, there's that to take into account, but it is certainly pleasant to look at. It's not nothing outstanding as far as today's standards of vid games, but it's not subpar, particularly not for the Wii. Um, the bikes and carts look uh, look great. The tricks look pretty cool when they when you pull them off. The character models look fine. Beyond that, I have nothing else to say. Music. Uh, actually, in preparation for this review, I almost forgot the music of the game entirely. I actually had to go back and play through the game and specifically pay attention to the music on each level. So uh, I dare say that the soundtrack for this game is easily overlooked, and not without good reason. It's completely generic Mario Kart music. Um, befitting of the levels, but nothing special. Um, but anyone buying Mario Kart Wii is not buying it for the music, uh, the graphics, or even the single player. So let's move on to what I feel is the top selling point for Mario Kart Wii. Multiplayer and by relation replayability. Multiplayer races are fun, particularly if you have an extra Wii wheel handy, um, though I do wish there was a single race option because you have to do four to complete you know, a set and get the trophy and win all that mess. But you can stop playing in the middle of them, so I guess there's that. So that's a light complaint. Uh, team racing's fun. Um, I haven't played much of the battle mode. Probably would be more fun um, playing with friends rather than playing against the AI, but I haven't had the opportunity yet to try that. Um, fun enough, but not my cup of tea, so to speak. Uh, I prefer the racing. And speaking of the racing, the online is functional. Uh, functional at least uh, as far as Nintendo's Wi-Fi connection allows. Uh, I've not been a big fan of the Wii's online abilities thus far. What with there being no real way to communicate the whole friend code bullshit. But that's another rant for another time. Suffice to say, it works. And it's actually a lot of fun, even if it is like playing against AI with screen names. Um, maybe it's just been dumb luck so far for me, but I haven't had nearly as many frustrating item attacks one after the other online. Um, possibly because the AI works in concert it seems sometimes to bring you down while people online don't uh... negatives for this game those fucking blue shells um... pows lightning bolts all that mess uh... i hate anything in a game that is blind luck and there's no way to avoid it particularly in a uh, kart racing game um... that's not entirely fair because you can avoid the pows as long as you're lucky enough to hit a jump when the pow goes off um, if there's another way to avoid them, I've not come across it except for if you're on the um, if you're on a bike and you pull a wheelie, you don't spin out as badly. Other than that, I haven't come across anything else. And I looked on the internet in preparation for this to see if I was missing something. I wasn't. Uh, only other complaint I have is the torrent of items that will smack into you one after the other. I mentioned it before, and I'll say it again: the AI seems to plan exactly that. It happens far too often, usually within the same race, for it to be a coincidence. It's plain and simple. The AI is a conniving group of villains bent on your demise, be it Mario and Bowser, no matter what guys. So, single player is frustrating, and in a word, sucks. Positives? It's a fun party game. Multiplayer is fun as hell. Fun enough that I'm willing to unlock everything to complete it so that all the characters, carts, and bikes are available for my friends when I play. Uh, graphics aren't painful to look at, music's not painful to listen to, controls aren't broken. What more could you ask for in a Mario Kart game? Also, Birdo is a playable character. Final summation, it's a fun game, though frustrating as hell to unlock everything. But definitely worth it, I think, uh, even if it's just to play online with friends, but especially if you grab at least one extra Wii wheel to play a uh, local multiplayer. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Coming soon from me, some other vids on the way. There's like three game stops in my area. I'm hoping that at least one of them will have Wind Waker so I can get that and play that. And then I can do the Legend of Zelda franchise vid, finally, that I've been taking my sweet ass time about doing. ShepDog25 asked if I would do a review for Luigi's Mansion for the Nintendo GameCube, so I will start working on writing that up. I think I might do a video showing some of my um, my books because it's another thing I like to put money into. I like to put money, I, I like to collect a great deal of things. Video games, video game consoles, DVDs, CDs, and books. 
Among other things, I've changed my mind about doing the Super Smash Bros. Brawl video. I'm just going to do a written blog about it. I really don't have much to say. It's not really worth putting into a video format. Yeah, so that's it for now. Uh, catch y'all later. Peace.